Okay, hello, and welcome to RimWorld. Um, I already have a, a colony started because it is rather a long process to go through and set everything up. So I ended up picking... <laughs> uh, a night owl and two people who can't do violence. Sorry, this one is still... There he is. Um, <laughs> I have two people incapable of violence so they can't fight or shoot or anything. Um, but that's okay. I'll work with what I got. So for now, we will get a structure set up. It's not a lot of trees, but the, sil the steel is going to be more important later. Uh, let me make sure, yep dog name on because I believe uh-huh we actually have a Yorkie available to us uh, uh I, I'm gonna just leave that with obedience so that she won't wander off and stuff um yeah let us get a no structure Sorry, I'm still in the process of learning this, so that's partially why I'm on base builder and not like a normal, the normal rough uh, option. But I, I have figured out that about nine by nine is a good size building to start with. Like it'll get you uh you know enough enough room for a few really important things which is like beds and uh how do I want to do this yeah I'll just do it like that beds animal sleeping spot oh perfect goes right on the edge uh we'll give you a lamp oh wait I can't <laughs> I don't have power yet I can't have that we do need a campfire so that they can start to cook right away. Um, even though they have nothing to cook yet. They, right now they just have these uh, packaged meals. And I will eventually go through and as I see these things uh, mark them so that my colonists can pick them up. Because they are quite dumb. If you don't tell them to do things they won't do them at all. Like, not hunting, not cutting down trees, not nothing. They won't pick food for themselves, nothing. They, you have to actually tell them to harvest the, the, like, the, if there's bushes or hunt animals, you have to, like, actually designate. Let's see, let's see if I can find a rabbit or something. You have to actually designate steel. is going to be really important. Um, that they hunt the animal and of course I can't oh yeah here we go here's a bunny butt hi bunny so you can do tame or hunt and if you don't designate it to hunt even if they're capable of hunting there's the bunny uh, they won't do it they won't do it at all they'll just like oh muffalo that's cool meat okay where'd I go alright no not here we go okay I also need furniture no, not furniture. I need... Where is it? What do I need? Production. I need a butcher table. And a research table. Um, because if we don't get the research table, then all of this rock that's sitting around, this right here, they can't use it for anything because it's not blocks. It's just in chunks. Excuse me. Um, 
what else? I don't think we're not we're gonna hold off on that, but maybe I should. Yeah, I having a prison. I learned this from watching Blitzkrieg's lore. Having a prison is really really useful. Um, you just want a place with like a bed and maybe a light and like. Uh, heat source and stuff. Um, because if anybody comes to your colony and you have to rescue them or something, But what I'm actually going to do, you, you have to have a prison in order for them to do anything. Like, you can't capture people and, you know, try to recruit them unless you have... I forgot to put a door in. <laughs> kind of need that. It's kind of important. I do like that the when you put down a door, it auto-rotates. And it looks like the dog can't get in over here. But I promise, it's this game does work on diagonal, so you know someone can stand here and still use that over there. Um, uh, the next thing I'm gonna do before I make time go again. Oh, more steel. Need that. Ah, go is to designate uh, the home zone. Which I'm going to make like like this, and I have um I have the option on down here, this little house that uh if when I put down other zones or buildings and stuff, when they get built, it'll automatically add area to my home zone so that the the building I built is automatically included and so I never end up with a thing where like I built way out here but my zone home zone is up here so then my people won't interact with the thing that's down there <laughs> because really truly they're they're just that stupid like they will only pay attention to things that are like within the home zone unless it's like I designate like I can go in here to orders and say chop wood and I can mark all these trees and they will go outside the home zone to do that but if I have built like a turret or something and it needs to be repaired they won't go fix it if it's not in the home zone if it's in the home zone they'll automatically go fix it so you gotta make sure you know I just have that on just by default and it's just it works out better that way um growing oh I want to make growing zones I want to make zones that's what I wanted to do I wanted to do stockpile I did this before and it seemed to work out really well having this be a stockpile zone for like for um oh that's the other thing I need to build I keep uh, see that's that's why I don't want to play on higher levels Oh man, I'm gonna have to. Yeah, I'm gonna have to move the bed, cancel the bed. Because I need to put a door in, because this will eventually be a freezer. I can't make a freezer right now, but. Um. Make another bed, put the bed back. Oh! <laughs> Duh, it was already correct. Um, anything else? I don't think I need anything else right now. Orders, mine this so I can put a wall there. Zone. Oh, I was gonna. You have to designate what the stockpiles are for. Um, a stockpile zone automatically has all this stuff done, but I don't want my people putting food in there. Um, or rotten and no corpses because I'm gonna make a dump site uh, 
You know what? That should actually go in the freezer when I have it. I'll do that in a second. See here, we're going to another stockpile zone. And you can rename the zones, but I'm not going over for right now. Uh, here. And this one we don't want to allow rotten. We want only foods and body parts. None of this stuff. And no corpses. Because that's going to be like our preservation site. That's why I'm allowing body parts. Because you can like harvest kidneys and lungs and things. And store like the bionics in there. Um, and I'd rather just you know I'll just keep it in there just cause um oh the other thing I wanted to put in here was medicine because you can make a a plant called heel root and if you make that that does spoil so you want to have it in with your food where it's refrigerated um nope <laughs> so it's God, burr, 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 brain, no worky. I'll put the dump site over here. No, I don't want it there. I don't want it there. No, delete that. Delete it. Boop. I want the dumping zone over here, actually. I'll make it like that. And this, you'll see, like, automatically, it'll have, you know, no food and stuff. Um, it allows non-smeltable metals, chunks of rock, corpses, yes. Um, oh, 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 that reminds me. This zone over here, I want animal corpses. Because then, like, if they don't butcher it right away, they can put it in the freezer. Uh, and it'll keep until they butcher it. They're quite. Did I mention they're quite stupid? <laughs> I think I did several times now. They are quite stupid, and you will see when I let them go to walk around. Ah, uh, body parts, weapons, items. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now I think we are ready to let these guys work and I know this guy's gonna have he's got the cryo sleep sickness I already looked at him hunter lacks weapon futa what are you you are melee or shooting you are melee so there is a knife somewhere oh no here it here it is get that let's mark all this stuff for pickup now the, the silver is also really important, so I want them to, to be able to handle that, because silver is like the dollar in this game, and it took me for freaking ever, like two or three colonies, two or three tries to figure out that silver is... <laughs> if you don't have silver, you don't have money. Uh, and while they do that, see... Yay. Oh, the animal. I want the animal to stay in the home area. I don't want it wandering around, but I don't uh, but I want my people to be able to um go across the map cuz the map is quite big. Whoops. Whoops. Um, didn't I designate? Yes, I did. Okay, good. Um, do I have any? Yes, Futa is a night owl. Okay. So, what I'm going to do, because it does work out very nicely to have them on, like, different sleep schedules... So, I'm going to make Futa. Let me get rid of this. I love this, that you can, like, copy and paste it. Um, Futa will be, like, 5 a.m. Six, 
seven, eight. And what I like to do is put like an hour of joy, like right before they go to bed and right before they wake up. Um, and I like to designate, you know, the eight hours of work because that stops your people from doing stupid things. Oh, uh, I don't want to do that. Okay. This anything, I found out that my people will do whatever they want. Some of them will sleep, but also some of them will continue to work. Some of them will just like go into La La Land and stargaze and stuff. It's really kind of cool that the characters have person re like real personalities and it can provide a lot of um interesting little uh Conflict sometimes. Trust me, this, what I'm doing right now, it may be really boring to you, but it's totally worth it in the, in the long run. Harvest. That's something else I can do. I need to tell them to harvest any, oops, any berry bushes that are nearby that are grown because that's a very good um, way to get food at the beginning of your colony when it's like this. I'm going to have to adjust their work schedules because as you can see, food are built but nobody else is. They're all hauling and stuff. So, take off the man the automatic priorities and everybody's going to do a little bit of everything because we only have three people so you can't really I can't really afford to to and so I'm just to leave it like that she's probably going to be like mining yeah mining constructing she can harvest too, but she's not the best, so that's good. Yeah. These are very important, because you won't get your people to take care of themselves unless you put these at one. Um... A lot of times they're not needed, but still. Okay, yeah, we don't need anyone primarily on flicking duty. Flicking is just like if you do have electronic devices that need to be turned on and off, um, that lets them do it. We don't have any prisoners right now, but we I will designate a warden for, yeah, seven, this guy's seven, yeah. He's also my nurse, so. Five, one, and four. Four. Make that guy cook. Sometimes with the, whoever the doctor is, like the doctor warden person and warden, sometimes I'll restrict them to the home zone, but for right now I'm just going to leave it. Ugh. Okay, this is Chupizar Crafter. Ugh, I can't stand it when they just leave it to be dirty. 
thirteen, two, and nine. Everybody gets to do a little bit of something, something. Uh, actually, I'm gonna set, yeah, I'm gonna set that a little higher because he does have a passion um, for research, which means that even though she's skill two right now, she will, if she does any research, she'll gain levels like the Dickens. Oh, good. He's he's harvesting berries. Where are you going? Where are you going, Fuda? Oh, he's getting wood. Oh, excellent. Oh, my master plan is coming together. Um. Haul. Haul all this. Because I want to make some growing zones. And they're going to be like right here. right now I'll just make them small but I know I need four I think because you can grow something that will grab potatoes this one will have corn this one will have heel, heel root and this one will have let's see strawberries let me see if I can chop down these trees can yay can I chop down those yes awesome chop down those that one good good okay it's looking good I think right now I wish I mean I kind of wish that um they would come out here and like get the the silver and stuff but they will eventually I think what are you doing Oh, good. You're harvesting wood. We need that. Awesome. Yay! Made the research table. It's very important. Do forever so that they do it right away. Oh, I also want to make a growing zone. Zone. For hay. Which maybe doesn't make sense now but it will later when we have animals more animals um you know what what can this what can she eat vegetables i don't think that includes hay so we we need we do need to make kibble but the dog will like go in here and eat meat and stuff Watch, she's just gonna go in here and eat one of these. Uh, so we do need to make kibble, and again, trust me, if I don't tell them to make kibble, they won't make kibble. But I only need like 10, that's fine. That's plenty for right now. Good. 34. Oh, because it doesn't... Build the damn walls, Fuda. Oh, good. Jupe is... Planting. Well, I got a lot done this day, hey? Components, that's good. Ooh, new lovers. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This could be interesting, I think. Optimist... Chemical interest. Uh ho. So like if I get chocolate or beer, he's gonna like go after it. He wants he wants bionic parts and of course he's an optimist. Um sickly child. Where's Futa? Okay. That's good, because we're actually in a tundra, I think, I believe. Mm -hmm. oh, world, here we go. Where am I? I'm up here. Yeah, we're in the tundra. Whoops. T 
tundra. I wonder if eventually in this game you'll be able to, um... Oh, that's why Village in the Valley comes over a lot. Anyway, um... I wonder if you'll be able to make, like, more colonies per game, because right now it's just, like, this is it. You're just making your colony. And I think from, like, this kind of stuff that, you know, if you go down to the bottom, you have, like, ship parts and things, antimatter reactor, cryo sleep casket, computer core, antimatter propulsion. So I think... Your goal is to live long enough to research all of this and you'll be able to build a ship and get off the planet. Um, but obviously this is uh, not a final version. It's an alpha. So you can buy it. It's available at rimworldgame.com and it's $30 uh, to buy the game. But they're doing kind of a Kickstarter-like thing where you can, if you pay more, you get benefits. Like, um, it, you get to name a character, or you name, get to name a character and pick all its stats, or you get to be a pirate leader, or etc., cetera, etc., cetera, for different levels of donation. And right now, I just own the game, but I do eventually want to. Um, get a character made because I th I think this is just a hysterical game the way that like the the characters interact with each other and they uh, you know they talk with each other it was wooed by Cole um, they'll fight they will have infighting like it'll say had a social fight Bunny. I can't decide if I want to tame animals first or hunt them. I'm just going to leave it for now because I wish. Fuda, where are you? Oh, you're. Are you asleep? No, you're not asleep. Where are you, Fuda? Fuda! Don't worry about that. Oh, you need. Oh, can you chop trees? Can you chop this tree? Chop the tree. Well, don't chop the tree. That's not chopping the tree. That is just cutting down the tree and you won't get wood out of it. At least I don't think so. I'm not willing to, uh... Chop the tree, Futa! Oh, he's not a plant cutter. Okay, can Jupe cut the tree? Cut the tree! Really, really, we need wood! Go faster. Cut the tree. Ah, look at this. Oh, she was like stargazing or something. Oh, 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 I can designate uh, medical for right now. But if I have to, I can always relocate the medical bed. See? It's outdoors, so you, so you like you have to have a actual enclosed room and stuff. Um, can't harvest that yet. Oh, I have to set them to mine. Mine over here and mine over here and mine this jade because I think that's something we can at least sell mine this and I think I'm gonna stick oh, what's that? granite interesting no, that one I think I'm just gonna stick to this area oh, we need components um because that, we need that for electronics later. Want that, I want that. Here's some gold. Deconstruct this because that'll give us machine parts too. Okay, I think that's enough for right now. Hopefully we won't have any accidents or anything.
hey, there's some wood up there. Oh, good, he's harvesting berries. Sure, wooden, put that corner in. Oh, yay! Except, oh, did they just not build the door? Ha ha ha. You mean me? Oh, good. Yay! Yay, Fuda! 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 Oh, uh, it, fu Fuda? Can you build, build the door, please? Build, really, build the door. Oh. Oh, uh... Well, it's warm inside. I guess that's all that matters. These are technically... Oh, the package survival meals don't go bad. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, Regular meals will go bad. Uh, yeah. Uh, who do I have cooking? Cole. Oh, he's asleep. Okay. Go figure. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Where's those bunnies? I'm gonna have to. We. I mean, obviously he picked some berries, but uh, we need to hunt, cause hunt, hunt. There it is. Uh, cause otherwise, hunt the bunnies. Sorry, bunnies. Hunt the squirrels. Sorry, squirrels. I don't want to hunt the buffalo yet because they are quite tough. Uh, so, what is that? A rabbit? Yeah. Bunny. What is this green stuff? Oh, it's marsh. And there are some things like I don't think you can do anything on the marsh. I mean, you can come over here and mine, I think, but you can't grow on it, you can't build on it. Etc. Etc. And so forth. Okay, I think we're in a good place. Well, oh, need defenses. I was just gonna say, well, maybe I should leave it here, but I'm gonna go ahead and, uh... Ooh, but those are... Yeah, uh, no, I want wooden traps. I don't want to build with steel yet. I'm just gonna put these all over... Cause I don't want to build the turrets yet because they they take steel at least I think they do can we build can I build no steel you can only build them out of metal whereas these at least I can make them out of wood one in there actually I'm gonna put it there let's let's cancel that one Cancel that one. And then once they're all built, I can set them to auto reload. I'm gonna put one there. Actually, I'm gonna put a few there. I'll stop, hopefully stop people from coming in. Oh. Cause the fire burnt out. See, they're so dumb sometimes. Uh, I want temperature. Food. We need fire. Fire! I have made fire. No, I'm just telling them to make fire. <laughs> no, I want orders. Chop wood. Need more trees. Where's all the trees? Give me more. More trees. Yes. More trees. Cut down all the trees. We need all the wood. There we go. Well, this is a good start, I think. Um, I don't think we've had any disasters. Um, 
An herb world entrepreneur named Jesse Shen calls you from nearby. She is being chased by pirates from the animal partner. She begs for safety and offers to join your colony. Biologically, oh, okay. And Futa, I think, is the only person who can... Hold on. Futa, Futa. I think she's the only one who, yeah, can uh, attack people. So, let's take care of that first. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's why I keep it on slow. Attack that guy. Go get him, Fuda. Oh, shit. He's got a gun. Get him, Fuda. Oh, pfft, bruises. No problem. Oh, she's not dead. Oh, capture her. Oh, ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on. Dismiss that. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Oops, 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 oops. Sorry, sorry. That's fine. I can always move the bed. Here, move this. I think I'm gonna move it right here for now. Reinstall at here. There she is. Capture, because I might be able to recruit her. Ooh, she's gonna be warden. Optimist, but nervous. And she's not incapable of anything. <gasps> Medieval doctor? She firmly believes that most ailments can be cured with little bloodletting? Master anesthesist. Anesthesist? Anesthetist? I think it's anesthesiologist, but that's okay. I shouldn't mock the game that I'm playing because it's so good. I love playing this game. <sighs> Met developing a specialty technique that involved a heavy blow to the head. Melee plus six, medicine plus one. Oh, interesting. I don't think I realized that these little backstory things give pluses and minuses. Interesting. Okay. Go, Fuda. And then I will release her to do whatever she wants, like sleep. Okay, you can go do whatever you want. Oh, great. I guess that means I have to move this bed instead. Oh. <gasps> Oops. Okay. Go ahead and install it, Jesse. Another one incapable of violent. What the heck am I going to do with all these people? I guess they're, she's just going to hang around and cut down stuff and stuff, but I'm, I'm going to leave that till next time, and I'll probably take care of all the things to, um, oh, let's see, I wanted to name this, what do I want to name it, I want to name it, let's name it Silver Town, after me, Silverin, okay, well, I'm gonna leave this here, let's pause it, and like I was saying, I think I'm going to take care of like figuring out their schedules and like what Jesse does, what are we going to do with Marl. Um, you know, make sure that we have enough resources tagged for so that we get wood and stuff. Uh, start deconstructing some of these. 
so that next time uh, we'll be ready to ready to go and hopefully be able to build a lot more. Take it easy and remember to smile.